We all know that the keyboard isn't actually in alphabetical order, but why? Is there a reason why the keys are arranged the way they are? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. The classic keyboard we all use every day actually has a name. It's called the QWERTY keyboard layout. You can probably guess where the name comes from. Q, W, E, R, T, and Y are the first six letters on this layout, starting from the top left. It seems like a totally random way to arrange the letters, but it turns out it wasn't an accident. In order to understand why we went with QWERTY, we have to go all the way back to Milwaukee in 1874. That was the year the first commercial typewriter was released, designed by a guy named Christopher Scholes. That typewriter included an early version of the same QWERTY keyboard layout we still use now. So why did Scholes choose QWERTY? Well, it was all about how the typewriters were being used. You see, some of the very first people to test out typewriters back in the 1870s were telegraph operators who needed to quickly transcribe messages from Morse code. The telegraphers found an alphabetical layout was confusing and slowed them down when translating code. They gave Scholes feedback, and over several years, he made modifications to the layout until finally landing on the QWERTY keyboard we've been using ever since. The QWERTY layout has only ever had one challenger since. It's called the Dvorak Simplified Keyboard, and it was invented by a doctor in the 1930s. Dr. Dvorak rearranged the keyboard to try and put the most commonly used keys in spots where your fingers naturally sit when typing. It sounds like a good idea, but people were already used to using the QWERTY keyboard, and Dvorak's design never quite caught on. So, does it make sense that the keyboard we text with is based on the needs of telegraph operators? Well, no, but could you imagine trying to switch to a new layout? No, thank you. And now you know where the QWERTY keyboard came from. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.